has been, um... Alright. The Ebonic Plague has been winning this player matchup recently, um... But, uh... Hellsap has been putting in work to improve his Jacko. Yes, and honestly, I think it's been paying off. He's got a lot stronger neutral than he used to, and... Yeah, definitely. So this is going to be an interesting match. He's been developing his neutral and his general game plan re really well. It's been improving steadily over time and visibly. I can't hear anything on my left ear. Uh. Okay. Oh well. Doesn't seem to be it. Either way, we're about to go into round one. Let's see what the round start is. All right. Big driver counter hit! Ebonic Plague is super strong on his match starts. That really tripped me up, and I think like, <laughs> the best move against him is to block. Probably. In most but, most, especially because Beak Driver just covers so much space. Like, even back dashing is out of the question for well, a lot of characters. Well, if he characters. doesn't Beak Driver, he can 6P or far slash, both of which will cover that space in a really short amount of time. Definitely. He's got a real big life lead after not very much time. All he really has to do is keep her from setting up that up. Yeah, uh, Ivana Clig is really good about destroying the houses as they as quickly as he can. RC is just going to kill? No, not quite. Even if you're in an OP situation, she blocks a little, the house is level up, and you start having minions on top of you. Yeah, and that was a good blitz back by Ablonic Plague right there. Yeah. <laughs> Smart, because uh, Hellsap didn't have any more meter to blitz to blitz back his blitz back. I'm, s I'm still salty about that happening to me the last time. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. Hellsap in the corner. Ooh, good challenge on the air, on the... Uh, on the Hellsap Plague trying to throw out some spacing stuff. very tight, as we expected him. First, he doesn't want none. Destroying the house real quick. Oh, those balls that, uh... He let one house live, and now <laughs> Dominion plagues him. Counter to Graver, but he didn't get the confirm. He didn't have a lot of food here. Oh, that's 6P. It's a very strong one. Uh, Sin 6P? Yes. Yeah. It's, such a, right it's, it's a real strong right. anti-air. It's also still amazing to me how strong it is as, like, a grounded poke. It's just got reach and invincibility. Lots you know? of it. And it's, you know, the start of bunch of his numbers. So it's worth it if you hit it. Dual, dual, one, one. Let's roll. roll. Alright, second match. Plus that's got a lot of time to cover, but it does look like he's uh, okay. As normal, a real strong round start from Ebonic Plague, but he's in the corner now, letting Hellsat put up some houses. Uh, Runs switch. right out. Yep, the situation is, has a turn. It's just really hard to, uh, to break through Ebonic Plague's defense, so even those corner situations, he's probably going to find a way out. Oh, now he's got minions on top of him. No! Oh, but now they're at the other side, so he's got at least some time. Yes. Those balls Jacko shoots out can be real annoying depending on your character and their movement ability. What's even more difficult to deal with is that she recovers right after she throws it. Yeah, she's free to, like, throw out air normals or dive kick or air dash if she still has it. Or even just block. Yeah. Bonnet Plague smart to run under her when he, when he goes for that. And, uh, you get some taps in on those houses. Yeah, exactly. Well, he's got the life lead, but Full either speed. of them can kill him basically one hit. Yeah. And one hit such as Jacko 6H. <laughs> yup. That anti-air god move. <laughs> Oh, that was a big starter. A good burst from uh, Hellsat, but that was going to probably be like 60% of his character's life. Yep. Although I've been seeing a lot of people drop combos against Jacko today, uh, including Jay. She's lightweight, and she's got like a slightly unusual hurt box. Yeah. Plus she falls backwards a little more than other characters, I feel like. Uh. Like... Her following her box has a little less in the front than most characters have. Yeah, maybe I can see it. 
houses out. He's got that level 2k house. All he's gotta do is maintain this life lead. That was such a smart RC run up, otherwise, because if, if he didn't do that, he was gonna get hit by that house throw. Yup. House 2 doesn't go away no matter whether you hit Jacko or not. Oh, he got crossed up by the dive. Oh, that's all that dropped his combo. And is whipping Jacko's 4D in the air for some reason. Oh, sad Domi. He badly wants to push buttons, but with minions covering him, it's not that dangerous to do so. Yeah. And that's also taking the second game. We're at 1 1 right now, I believe. Yep, that's. That is correct, sir. Is this 3 out of 5 or 2 out of 3? 3 out of 5. Oh, okay. Winner's finals. First, so we got a very, points. very safe neutral into an air exchange that gets Jackal a little bit of traction. Ooh, didn't block the cross up fast enough. Oh, I think there's, he's gonna hit. Oh, good nope. wire seed. Wire C. He had the time and meter to do that. Yup. Time is meter. <laughs> if you're back up. Yeah, actually, because she gets that passive meter game with the fire houses. I know, she always has enough meter to like super or command grab, like I've seen this character do like three supers in a block string once. Jacko is the one percent. She gets meter <laughs> for everything. She got real estate. She's sitting on a fortune. And like you really gotta destroy those houses as soon as you can. Because even when they're at level two, they take so many more hits to kill. And they gain her so much. Just for being there. If you're if you're like tumbling Jacko and she has houses out, you're getting you're giving him a day. Uh he got the yeah, like right there, he got the knockdown, then ran up and had to block a minion because he had a house out. Yup. And that happened again! Now he's just getting out of the way. He knows yeah, that he, he has the life lead, he doesn't, doesn't want to try and risk challenge anything. the whole Jacko ball from this guy's situation. But he's on life support for this map. Very little meter. Oh no, the 5H is catching it. Alright. Because he has got to do something fast or something. Order lose. minions, this situation nope, sucks and Hellsap comes up 2-1. Heaven or hell, duel, duel, one, one. Let's rock, rock. Start being driver, but Hellsap just gets out of the way. Hellsap knows that what he needs to do is get those houses out, and then Sin can't keep on it. Yeah. Ooh. Run up, old man. That 6P was fantastic. Isaiah is no, just playing a very corner. strong spacing game. He's trying to keep Jacko from doing anything. Jacko turning up the minions, which makes them move and I think spawn faster? That's right. They also... I'm not sure what Mark was going often. for with that run up 2D sure. though. Oh, right on the very carefully use that back dash to stay out of Jacko's punishment. Ooh, calling out the calling out Mark's attempt to uh, get out of the corner. Why is the air throw is one of my favorite things to see in this game. Ah yes, it's so good. You, keep, you slow them down and make it so much easier to just go up and grab them. Wow, that was a brave slide to challenge that bullpad. Uh, that, that move has a really disjointed hitbox. So Slice? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does. So often when exchanges with it, even against things that are, you know, pretty big, pretty far away. I'm not sure what Nelsap wanted with that straight up speed. Huh? The ways of Hellsap are often a mystery to <laughs> outside observers. Or sometimes even himself. Sometimes. Now he's in a real good situation and takes the round. Yup. So challenging there. her when she has the house in her hand is extremely risky. Yeah, it is. 
because you take the, even if you get the hit first, the house comes out, the counter hits you, and you get like a... Oh, he waited for that burst. Uh, what's he gonna do? Oh, that was a brave E, but Kelsap didn't quite get the punish on it. Beat Driver just nullify the hit of the house throw? Yes, it nullifies projectiles, and that was only one hit of projectile. However, Ooh, that clash. if you hit the house while it's a projectile, it doesn't count as hitting the house. It doesn't take any health away from you. Alright, but it, but it the still nullifies the projectile yes. aspect of it. Which is goofy to see. Like, you nullify the projectile, but then the house still flies. Yeah, I would think that would, like, I don't know, at least prevent it from getting placed, but... But a not quick sig on a version. pixel, his tournament, well, his winner's bracket life yeah. on the line right He's now. got another life, but he is about to lose the set if he doesn't do something fast. Ooh! Oh, no. man! Comes down with a jump punch. Yeah. Just wants the fastest little tap he can get. That's, that's Hellsap up to be won. Uh, I gotta go play a Street Fighter match. Oh. All right. So, trading out with Sammy Fish right now. Now we see a match that I have seen many times before. Ebonic play.